<laughs> All right, let's talk about the tight end. Uh, it's, we're staying on the trend as far as like revenge or mm-hmm. what the narrative that the mass media is saying that's not really mm-hmm. there. Um, for this case, I think Jordan Reed can feel some type of revenge because he is running routes. He has an opportunity to score a touchdown. And he's someone that hasn't got 40 yards the past two games. It wasn't until the Saints where he had, a, I think it was around 60 or so yards. Yeah. Um He's been really frustrated with Nick Mullins. It's been obvious on the field. Now he's facing his former team that he may feel some ill will based on how they handled his injuries in the past. What's his over-under? Does he get to 60 yards? Um, I feel like Shanahan's going to want to feed Jordan Reed because Shanahan don't like Washington either. Um, I'm going to go with over. I, I just think okay. this, this, this feels like a tight end type game. This feels like a running back type game because – we all know Kyle loves to attack linebackers, and these linebackers, like the weakest point of this, this Washington defense is the linebackers. Like that, like I, I think it's clear as day, and I'm gonna take my chances with McKinnon and Wilson and in, in, in you know, um, in the passing game, and then of course Jordan Reed. He's gonna, he's definitely gonna beat these guys. So it's just a matter of can our protection hold up? You know, if they're gonna keep stacking six, seven guys in the box, can the protection hold enough, hold up enough for Jordan to get into his breaks and come out? And Mullins hit him on the run and do whatever he needs to do. Because, I mean, I thought Jordan Reed had a good game against Buffalo, and Mullins moving out of the pocket a little bit helped out. My concern really is just like, are they really going to put like Montez Sweat and Chase Young over Mike McGlinchey? Like, that's just, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm scared for Nick Mullins' life um, on Sunday. But yeah, I'm going to go with six, over 60. I think, I think this is an over 60 game for Jordan Reed. Yeah. I see the path to it the same way that you just said, right? Because, you know, these guys, Bostic and all of them, like, good luck trying to get your, your hands on Jordan Reed. And, and what I noticed last week, what they did with Pittsburgh was they just ran a ton of men. Like, they really weren't even concerned with running any sort of zone on the outside with Kendall Fuller and mm-hmm. um, what the heck is his name? Kendall Fuller and Darby. Ronald Darby. Yes. So, you know, that's the thing, right? And they were just rushing four uh, and they were getting their pressure. That was what was scaring me, right? Because the Steelers have injuries as well, too, on their offensive line, but they were rushing four. They didn't really need to send anything more, and the pocket was collapsing nearly every single play. But they were fine with Darby and Fuller and all their guys with, with a single high safety all game. So, yeah, Jordan Reed will have his shots. Will Nick Mullins have the time? And will Nick? And, and I thought the point that you brought up, Leo, about him being frustrated with Nick Mullins, it's every week. Like you see it every week. It was just a Buffalo game where he's throwing his hands in the air and stuff like that. So um, I think, frustrated. right, of course, for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, if I have to, you know, pick right now, I'm probably going to say under um, in this game. I just don't know if the, the the line will hold up, like you said, to to get in and out of his breaks and everything, even though he will have those advantages one-on-one. The 49ers got to win those, those, you know, those close battles in the trenches, man. Just keep it, like, give, give Nick another second, like another half a second, you know, try, you know, but it's going to be tough, man. This line is insane. Right, and I have a theory on that, is Shanahan is smart. We we obviously can all agree with that. We don't think he's a Mike McCarthy or anything when it comes to game plan. Um, I think he's going to want to get outside of that defensive line to where I don't know if those opportunities are going to be there for Jordan Reed. He's definitely going to force it. Shanahan's definitely going to want to force it. Um, <laughs> he loves Jordan Reed. I don't think he could go to him after the game and be like, hey, bud, like, how was that win against this old team? Jordan Reed's going to be like, yeah, it was great, but I only had 20 yards because you fed everything outside. Um, but I'm going to say under because he's going to want to get the ball into Debo's hands outside. He's going to want to get it to Brandon Ayuk outside. You could tell by the way he designed his plays, Kyle Shanahan loves Brandon Ayuk. 